Hi everyone, this is second part about 3D printed coil. Today we are going to assemble the aluminum foil screen to reduce the false signals in the coil. We are going to put the aluminum foil screen only on the receiving coil. Ok, this is my receiving coil. To make aluminum screen on the receiving coil we need two things. First we need aluminum foil and second we need wire covered in tin. I removed the wire isolation and covered it with tin because we need a good contact with aluminum foil. So let's start making the screen. First we are going to cut strips of 2 cm aluminum foil. I think 2 cm is enough. Okay, done. We leave a space between aluminium foil of 1 cm. It's important. Don't forget this. Okay, now we need to cover it with wire covered in tin. Okay, we will do it like this. Make turns around aluminium foil with step 1 cm. So, Now, ok, let's start. Ok, the screen for the receiving coil is done. So this is what it looks like. Don't forget uh, leave the space between aluminium foil of 1 cm, maybe 2 cm. This is the wire from the screen. So let's do isolate. Okay, receiving coil is ready. Don't forget, we make the screen just for the receiving coil. And now we need to adjust the resonance frequency on both coils. To adjust the resonance frequency, I will use my app Resonance Finder. You can find the link on the description of this video. With this app, we can very easily adjust the resonance frequency on both coils. And now we are going to adjust the resonance frequency of the coil. For this we have to find adequate value of the capacitor which is connected in parallel with the coil. Before start we need to put both coils into 3D printed model. First we need to adjust the resonance frequency on the transmitting coil. On my coil I will adjust resonance frequency 5.5 kHz. First I will try capacitor with value 0.47 microfarad. So now we have connected the capacitor to the coil. This model has resonance frequency. But we need to know this resonance frequency. For this we will use the app resonance finder. How to build the circuit for resonance finder you can find 
and my web page is very easy circuit it's have just two capacitors and one mini jack and one resistance so after build the circuit you need to connect this but the first you need open the smart hunter and now we can connect the mini jack okay before to connect the circuit look at that when i speak in uh, smart hunter detect my voice we need to connect the circuit and uh, smart hunter must to stop detect my voice okay i connect this slowly okay now you can see uh, smart hunter can detect my voice this means i connect it correctly nothing happened okay now i can close the app smart hunter and i can open the app resonance finder this is why we open the smart hunter because we need to make sure it's work uh, fine okay we connect this circuit okay the resonance frequency of the coil with this capacitor is 6100 Hz this is 6.1 kilohertz but I need 5.5 kilohertz so I need lower the frequency how can I do this I can add one more capacitor I will add this capacitor and the frequency will lower if I need higher the frequency so I need remove the capacitor and put capacitor with lower value okay let's scan again connect the resonance finder now we have two capacitors Okay, and now we have 5800 Hz and I need 5500 so I need to put another capacitor I will put the same capacitor this capacitor 0.1 microfarad and now yes 5500 Hertz this is 5.5 kilohertz okay I put just three capacitors and I get the frequency I need okay the same way we have to find the resonance frequency on the receiving coil to start I will use the capacitor uh, the same uh, 0 0.1 microfarad I have lot of these capacitors so I will use this capacitor with this value this is okay I connected this and now we can scan and we will know the resonance frequency with this capacitor and we will know we, we have to add more or no thousand eight hundred Hertz it's too much I need uh, lower this frequency for the receiving coil we need 100 Hertz uh, lower than transmitting coil so I need 5.4 kilohertz Seven thousand six hundred hertz. This is too much. I need to remove these small capacitors and put one bigger capacitor. Zero point thirty three microfarad. And after maybe I will need to add this small capacitor. But now these small capacitors can't help me because the frequency is too much. Seven thousand six hundred hertz is too much. I need five 
1400 hertz okay we'll put this one and we will test the resonance frequency okay now we will test Okay, now 6300. Now I need lower the frequency, so I will put a small capacitor. This capacitor with a value 0.1 microfarad. Okay, let's try again. Okay, 5700 Hz. We are near, but I need lower more the frequency. Okay, now I will put again the small capacitor 0.1 microfarad. Okay, let's scan again. And now, yes, 5400 Hz. Okay, in this video we have adjusted the resonance frequency on both coils. In the next video we will finish the 3D printed coil. Thank you for watching. If you like this video and this project, please subscribe. And see you in the next video.